A jury wants her behind bars for decades. Just hours ago, a jury recommended 40 years in prison for Shana Hubers. That followed emotional testimony from the family of her victim, her boyfriend, Ryan Poston. Nine, nine on your sides, Tom McKee has been in the courtroom following this latest case all week long. The latest in this case, that's, that is, he's live now with the new developments. Tom. Well, it's certainly been a long two and a half years for the family of Ryan Poston, but the conviction here at the Campbell County Courthouse and the recommendation for that 40 year sentence, well, that should give them some peace of mind. We, the jury, fix the defendant Shannon Huber's punishment for the offense of murder at 40 years confinement in the penitentiary. Shana Huber sat silently and showed no emotion upon hearing the recommendation. Neither her attorneys nor her family wanted to comment after it was announced. But the Poston family, which has had to relive the tragedy of Ryan's loss for more than two years, had plenty to say, as did Commonwealth attorney Michelle Snodgrass. I always believed that Ryan Poston did not deserve to die, that the actions of the defendant were unwarranted and they were criminal and they were murderous. And I think that's probably the biggest thing that kept us going through this. A shallow victory, our son is dead. It's very bittersweet. So, you know, we have gotten justice and we, Ryan, loved the law and this is what the law has given us. We'll take that, it's okay. We never for a second, any of us, thought that Ryan did anything to deserve what happened to him. Never for one second did we ever think that there was any, any physical violence from a young man who had a kind and gentle heart and we got justice for him and we can, we can live with that because that's what we have to do. And at least with today's guilty verdict for murder, a 40 year sentence, the family can actually start their healing. They haven't been able to do that yet and I think that's what we've been able to give them today. Very, very emotional comments from Ryan's mother, his stepfather, and his father. But coming up new at 6, one of his sisters took the witness stand, and what she had to say to the jury was very, very emotional as well. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in Newport. Thank you, Tom. Now, here's a quick reminder of how this case has played out in the national spotlight. Ryan Poston was killed on October 12th of 2012. Hubers was booked into jail the next day. Her trial began 11 days ago, and just last night, jurors found Hubers guilty of murder.